fair. Surf monkey coconut. Tis the season to sow your seeds. And I know this time of year very well because of my allergies that tend to act up at about this time of year. If I find myself sneezing uncontrollably for about 10 sneezes in a row and my eyes start to burn, I know the cedar pollen is in the air and um, it's kind of a sixth sense that I'd rather not have, but um, it's always a friendly reminder to me. Um, I guess it's the curse of the green thumb that now it's time to sow the seeds. So um, that's why I have this uh, antihistamine bottle in the foreground as well as um, some coffee, which is also mild antihistamine. So any of you who have um, spring allergies, um, the, especially the beginning pollen spring allergies, um, you might want to consider that, uh, I don't know, a good thing. <laughs> I personally don't, but um, I'd rather go by the calendar, but that's what I'm stuck with in my lot in life. So um, if I sound a little stuffed up through this video, um, I apologize, but that's exactly what it is. is you know, my allergies acting up. Okay, so this video is going to be a seed hacking video. So let's get started. Um, very simple process. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're just basically going to soak the seeds in a wet medium. In this case, it's going to be a wet paper towel. Put it into a Ziploc bag, label the bag with a Sharpie, and um, let them sow and they'll sprout their own tap roots. And then we'll eventually transfer them to a seedling starter tray. So um, first thing is this, we just get a plate. I um, want to fold up one of these um, paper napkins to a nice dimension. And I'm just going to use our spray bottle with plain tap water. Uh, we label all of our spray bottles. We have like about four just kind of laying around one with liquid fertilizer and such. So um, we're just going to give this a nice little wet down. And just kind of make sure everything's nice and evenly wet. And that's good. So here we're going to sow some of our um, long red cayenne pepper seeds. Um, this is from 2011 lot. So hopefully these are a good... Uh, viable seed lot. <laughs> so um, we're going to um, just plant a good amount of them, probably like about 12 to 18, just with the ex expectation that um, we're going to eventually replant them into our seedling um, six cell tray here. So um, we want to have like maybe one to three viable seeds transplanted into each cell. So, um, you know, this looks like about the right amount. So I'm just going to fold this over. And easy as that, we just want to keep everything moist. I'll mist it again. Flip it over. Mist one more time. Make sure everything's nice and damp in there. Um, then we're going to put that little napkin packet into our Ziploc bag. And um, just for good measure, I'd like to squirt several more squirts in there just to make sure everything is nice and moist, just in case there's a hole somewhere in the bag. Um, it'll retain its moisture. Of course, during the sloppy job that I did, there's a seed that's uh, outside of the napkin, but that's fine. You know, what, the idea is that we're just putting moisture on the seeds, letting them hydrate, and then germinate in the bag. So um, let's label this uh, cayenne pepper. C A Y E N N E. Make sure I spell that correctly on film. Um, pepper. Okay, 2011, but I really don't need to date it because we're going to check back on these in one week and um, hopefully that's enough time to have them germinate and then we'll do a follow-up video um, uh, replanting those sprouts into a uh, seedling star tray with soil in it. Okay, so um, hope to see you guys next week and um, we got jalapeno peppers already done. We're going to you know, do a little bit more. We'll do probably some basil from this packet. Oh, one last thing. We do want to add a little bit of heat to these um, just because, um, again, this is seed hacking. We want to get the seeds to um, have every opportunity to sprout faster. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to put this on top of our um, heater in our heater closet, which is our favorite method of this using passive uh, heat energy that's already available to us without expending any more energy. Um, or uh, if you have a um, seedling starter map, one of those self-heated uh, mats. Uh, you can go ahead and use that as well. Um, keep it in a dark place um, because uh, uh, just like um, when you're planting a seed underground, there's really no light down there and um, it'll just help them to um, know when it's time to come out and germinate as fast as possible.